Hello, everybody. Uh, I mean, yeah. <laughs> this is being recorded pretty much directly after, um... my finale for Half-Life 2, Episode 2, and yeah, I've played Portal before, I've gotten, I think, pretty much right up to the end of it, because I know that it's not that long, so I pretty much have beaten Portal before, but, you know, still gonna play it for the channel, so, here we go. <laughs> Now I know that Aperture Science is a Half-Life thing from Episode 2, so I know this isn't an Aperture Science facility. Obviously now I'm very familiar with um, the Source Engine. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, serious injuries may occur for your own safety and the safety of others. Please refrain from... Yeah, for favor, for the portal You figured there'd be people Two. in there. One. You can see, there we are, Chell. That's us. Also in here, portal test sequence, hazard identification card. A bunch of stuff here, and then there's some cake down there. Uh, Anyways, they're me. Yeah, you crouch way lower in actuality. Oh, th these games probably look so funny in third person with your top half clipping through vents, at least in um, Half-Life 2. So now I'm guessing Aperture Science, based on what I know, what they potentially found is a um is portal technology to you know because that's what was going on at Black Mesa so would we find the portal gun no <sighs> this cube is very large let me just pick it up yeah though, there's uh, nobody in there also cannot sprint anymore. Oh, cube. Excellent. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. Yeah. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material invents a patient grid will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the aperture science weighted storage cube. Material emancipation Please grid that is pretty funny. Please storage cube on the 1500 megawatt aperture science heavy duty super colliding super button. <gasps> See, I need my cube, dog. Ah. Perfect. Please move quickly to the chamber lock, as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. Yeah. <laughs> the prolonged button exposure. I don't even know what I'm doing for the thumbnail for this game. That works. Or that's better. Yeah. Never believe it. I found You're my episode one thumbnail. Well. Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grip, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. Wow, just whole teeth? What makes the enamel, like, pick upable as unauthorized objects?
Very good. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. With it, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should you... Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it's so trippy. Well, it made my thing wiggle. I mean, my portal gun. Again. again, nobody in there. Hi. Remember, the Aperture Science Bring Your Daughter to Work Day is the perfect time to have her tested. Okay, okay. Welcome to Test Chamber 4. You're doing quite well. Is this just a modified uh, gravity gun model? The little arms on the front might be the same. As part of a required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. Okay. Whew. But there's still peop rooms for people to monitor you. Also looks almost like they, they have like blinds or something to block vision that just aren't currently turned on. So what's up here? Oh man, that is always trippy. One... And it does have gravity gun-esque things, considering you can pick stuff up with the portal. As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber yeah. was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two, one. Enhancing the truth. As always, trippy. Yeah. Uh, would you look, the little combine energy Our things. safety is one of many enrichment center goals. The Aperture Science High Energy Pellet seen to the left of the chamber can and has caused permanent disabilities such as vaporization. Yeah. Unbelievable. You. Subject name here. Must be the pride of. Subject on down here. Wow. So, obviously a joke, but... GLaDOS doesn't know who I am, or where I'm from. That should, that should be important, I feel. That she doesn't actually know who I am, or where I'm from. Why 
Tracking devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate the high energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. What the f hazard lights and the sounds agitate the energy pellet. To reach the chamber lock. Unstationary. Man, they really patent a lot of stuff, don't they? What was it, Game Theory said? It would create a black hole if you tried to place two portals on the same spot. Yeah, that would happen like day one of anyone having this. Like, it would not go well. We would instantly die. Oh, I missed my sprint. And one door closes, another opens. JT music as one door closes. Any consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good luck. Yeah. Oh boy, I did something. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What are those things behind our legs? Also, I can quick save and save much more efficiently than I could on the Xbox. So dying does not scare me as much. As one door closes, another row bends. Very impressive. Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. <laughs> yeah. I believe them, because I've never died playing this game. Absolutely not. <sighs> yeah. OBS. 12 minutes. Alright, let's the go. The Enrichment Center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Make no attempt to solve it. <laughs> yeah, thanks. I mean, hey, they said they would stop enhancing the truth, right? So, gotta believe them. Oh what? They said that vaporizes stuff? Yes it does. Oh. The enrichment center apologizes for this clearly broken test chamber. Oh wait, hold up. Whoa. Once again, the Enrichment Center offers its most sincere apologies on the occasion of this unsolvable test environment. I love how they just throw you in anyways and are just like, well, you're stuck here now, I guess. Fantastic. You remain resolute and resourceful yeah, though. <laughs> in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. <laughs> yeah, extreme pessimism. No. Spectacular. You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. <laughs> momentum. A 
function of mass and velocity is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. Yep. Yep. You say formula for momentum is mass times velocity. Just MV, dog. <sighs> The Enrichment Center promises to always provide a safe testing environment. In dangerous testing environments, the Enrichment Center promises to always provide useful advice. For instance, the floor here will kill you. Try to avoid it. Yeah. Oh wait, it worked, I'm dumb. Yep, now we get two portals, spicy. Music as we get closer. The device has been modified so that it can now manufacture two linked portals at once. As part of an optional test protocol, we are pleased to present an amusing fact. The device is now more valuable than the organs and combined incomes of everyone in. Subject hometown here. Well, I mean, I guess they're just that confident in it. So like obviously test chambers to see if it works, but like, you know, once again, where is everybody? I mean, if this is in the Half-Life universe, it's probably just the Combine killed everyone, you know. That'd be my guess. the portal device obviously can't shoot them on all surfaces. Get to Peter, fling yourself. Let fling into space. Something's definitely up with her. She's definitely glitching out. I 
like what? Did we volunteer for this, or were we forced? What happened? Because they can obviously kill us, you know, with all the stuff now in there. Now that you are in control of both portals, this next test could take a very, very long time. If you become lightheaded from thirst, feel free to pass out. An intubation associate will be dispatched to revive you with peptic salve and adrenaline. It's obviously watching. Okay. Well, I can push all these buttons. That's doable, but like. Dang. Now that you are in control of both portals, this next test could take a very, very long time. If you become lightheaded from thirst, feel free to pass out. An intubation associate will be dispatched to revive you with peptic salve and adrenaline. Oh, that's where it is. As part of a previously mentioned required test protocol, we can no longer lie to you. When the testing is over, you will be missed. Oh, they're saying they're gonna kill me when we're done. Okay. All subjects intending to handle high energy gamma leaking portal technology must be informed that they may be informed of applicable regulatory compliance issues. No further compliance information is required or will be provided, and you are an excellent test subject. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah! So if I, oh, uh, whatever, I could, oh, what am I doing? Sorry, I got a little lost there for a second. Oh, I'm lost. So I gotta turn around. Got it. Bunny hops to gain as much speed. Oh, what? Oh, the door broke. Okay, I'll take the cube with me. Why am I dumb? I literally stood right in front of it. Thank you. 
we need to get it there. Um. Okay, so that definitely works. So then, if I get it, okay, so let's see, I shoot it through there, I can get it to cross this gap. Okay, that's cool. So, when it crosses this gap, But I'm... Uh, okay. Goes through there. I don't think this cube is particularly useful. I have no idea what just happened. <laughs> oh, I'm dumb. being just dumb. Very, very good. A complimentary victory lift has been activated in the main chamber. Oh, there it is. To the victory lift. Uh, my cube's probably not going to be used. Yep, I would have just been putting him down. Oh, I was going to say, getting quite a bit done in 30 minutes so far. Tis the way of Portal short game. The Enrichment Center is committed to the well-being of all participants. Cake and brief counseling will be available at the conclusion of the test. Thank you yeah, for helping say, we us. All know the cake is a lie. Okay. Mm. <laughs> it's like if I can hit it right. I'm gonna do it that way, just cause it's dumb. There we go, alright. Dang it, alright. There we go. What happens if I do this? Oh, that's good. Okay. Nice. Victory lift. There's... Got it. Quick save. There we 
go. Uh. What is? Oh, Jesus. Come on. Come on, dude. Come on. Back. All right. Like here. has to be this. There we go. Then some riveting platforming. How long? 32 minutes. Games kind of giving me a headache, so we're gonna end this video right here. And uh, yeah, see you guys. <laughs>